Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. So today I have for you my February favorite. And this one, I'm not gonna lie, like I said last month, was kind of difficult because I haven't been bringing in a lot of new plants and a lot of the time my favorites tend to be newer plants so the theme for this February favorites is more about growth and there's tons of growth happening right now there's tons of blooms going on on different plants right now and I am excited to show you some of my favorites that have been blooming and growing for me. So the first one on my list today of my favorites for the month of February is this Anthurium forgettii. And it's because of this new leaf, right? Is this my forgettii? Look at this thing. This is, is this not gorgeous? I absolutely love this plant. I snack, it's, this doesn't look like a forgettii. Isn't it supposed to be? The sinus is supposed to be fused. This is not fused. This might be a hybrid, you guys. I'm just looking at it closer and I'm like, wait a minute, you don't, don't even look like a forgetty eye. It looks like it's actually crossed with something. That's bizarre. Um, look, I'm not an anthurium expert or anything, but that's not a forgetty eye. <laughs> but it's a beautiful new leaf. Whatever in the heck and bob it is, I snagged this, I'm gonna have to ask them, from Rooted Rarities a while back. And I got it because I've always wanted a forgetty eye. And I was like, let me snag it and see how it does. I had this one living in my bedroom for a while and eventually it started to just kind of get too big and I moved it up into the loft with the rest of my anthurium so that it can get better light and more humidity and this is the newest leaf that it's put out since I put it up there. I think it gave me, I know this is the one that it gave me when it was in the bedroom so I took that as a message that it wasn't like super happy and then it gave me this one just recently and this is the first time I'm really like taking it out and like looking at it <laughs> it does not look like a forgetty eye but it's beautiful and it's number one on my list today because it's it's gorgeous it's just I'm not sure what it is I have another forgetty eye hybrid I think this one is crossed with a crystal a dark crystal or something like that so that's kind of what it looks like I feel like maybe potentially like I'm not sure no not even this one looks like more like a forgetty eye than this one you guys this is a dark forgetty eye times NSE red crystal also from Rooted Rarities. I'm confused, but she's beautiful. Let me know in the comments below if you can help me out. I'm absolutely loving all of the new growth that I am seeing on my plants this year. And you guys, speaking of new growth, I have not been shy with you guys. Just a little sidebar. I have not been shy with you guys about what has been going on with me this year. I've posted about, you know, not being in a great headspace and struggling a little bit with my own personal growth, even though my my plants clearly are not. So they're doing well, which is good because a lot of the times my plants get neglected when my mental health is not really 100% there. So I don't know if it's a seasonal thing. I don't know if it's just because there's so much going on in my life right now, but I was feeling very, very overwhelmed. I'm definitely feeling better now. I appreciate all of you guys who reached out and were super duper sweet to me, but I did want to share with you one way that I do like to manage my anxiety 
and my stress and something that I hope can help you guys and they are the sponsor of this video and that is BetterHelp. So thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. If you guys are not new here, you know that I've been working with them for a long time. I really, really love BetterHelp and I'm going to tell you exactly why. So one of the reasons why I love BetterHelp so much is because they make it so easy and less intimidating for you to find a therapist. I don't know about you guys, but me personally, when I'm in a funk, when I'm in a bad headspace, or I'm having a hard time, the last thing that I can think about or have the energy to do is to try and find a therapist that's local to me. Yeah, somebody who you like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of important to actually like your therapist and make sure that you're getting the right person for you. And that's where BetterHelp can help you. They have a network of over 30,000 therapists for you to choose from that may not be available in your area. The great thing, my favorite thing about BetterHelp is that you can also talk to your therapist in any way that feels comfortable for you, whether that's on the phone, video call, or just through messaging. You can also schedule your appointments around whatever is convenient for you. You can do it from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to go out into the world. I don't know about you guys, but when I have anxiety and I'm not feeling great, the last thing that I want to do is get in my car and drive somewhere and have to talk about it. So it's really nice to just be in the comfort of my own home when I have these conversations with my therapist. It's really quick and easy to sign up for BetterHelp as well. You just fill out a quick questionnaire. BetterHelp will then match you with a therapist that they think is a good fit for you, but if for any reason you do not like the therapist that they choose for you, you can switch at any time, no extra cost to you, and it just makes the process really easy to go in and search for a therapist that might be a better fit for you. So definitely do not hesitate to check out BetterHelp if it's something you've been curious about and join the over 4 million people who have gotten help through BetterHelp, myself included. So definitely check out the link below. It is betterhelp.com. That's better H-E-L-P dot com slash Jacqueline's Jungle and you will get 10% off your first month of therapy. You guys, I promise you this can really help you. It is a great starting point if you're new to therapy or if therapy seems scary to you. I promise you it is not intimidating and I 100% encourage you to check it out. New year, new you. We've got this. We can do it together. You know what else we can do together? We can keep on growing these plants because number two on my list is this Monstera elbow cutting that I snagged from Derek, I think, Plants with Dirt. And I got it as just a cutting. Like it had a little bit of an aerial root, but I've had it in this moss perlite for a few months now. Look at all those roots. Oh, there's nothing more satisfying then all of those roots they look like noodles and I'm very excited to announce that it put out a new leaf and it's, it's just this little baby leaf but I'm still very excited and I'm very proud of myself for growing this from just like a one leaf mid cut and granted they gave me a good head start because it did like I said have a nice robust aerial root but you guys know elbows if you know elbows they can be a little bit on the finicky side. They can be a little bit harder to root. So I haven't always been successful rooting these even when they were semi-rooted to start or had an aerial root to start. So this is the only one that I've had success with and I'm pretty proud of it. So I wanted to show you that hopefully in the next few months, I'll be updating you again and showing you how big this plant has gotten. We'll be repotting it probably in the springtime, the next couple of months together for sure. Monstera Elbow is number two on my list today of my February favorites. Okay, so the next one, number three on my list, 
is not as fancy or rare or anything like that like the last two were but it's actually super common like grocery store common <laughs> but it's been blooming for me and I just think it's so stinking cute and it's one that catches my eye all the time when I look at it and I had to show you so number three is my Christmas cactus I'm pretty sure it's a Christmas cactus but I'm sure you guys will correct me if I'm wrong but I think it is it has like the pointier leaves but look at the cute blooms oh my goodness so this is a plant that my friend Chris gifted me I oh gosh I don't even know like a year ago and it was variegated it's not variegated so I don't know if it ever really truly was variegated or if it was just like sun stressed or something but I don't care because it's cute as heck and it's giving me these adorable pink blooms so that's why it's on my list it kind of reminds me of hibiscus and it's just so freaking cute look at it look at how cute it is is that not an adorable flower i gotta like hide my face so it'll focus but i just really enjoy this plant and i look forward to it continuing to grow and get big and i think this is just going to be one of those plants that i have for a long time so christmas cactus <laughs> Schlumbergera, is that the name for this one? Um, is number three on my list of February favorites because she just keeps on giving me these cute pink flowers. How can I not like her? Okay, so speaking of blooms, number four is one that I did show you guys and I've probably posted it to my Instagram by the time you see this video. So if you follow me over there and if you watch all my videos, you've seen it already, but I had to put it on the list because nobody in their right mind gets a bloom on a Hoya this beautiful and doesn't put it on their favorites list. So number four is my Hoya Fungii times RHP, right? Is it Fungii first and then RHP? It matters when it's a hybrid, which one comes first. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, is that it's blooming. I'm going to try not to hurt it. I already like almost snapped it, so I've got it supported. Look at how cute that is, you guys. It's like pink and fuzzy. It reminds me of a Carnosa, but darker pink and like bigger and fuzzier. It is crossed with the Pubic Calyx Royal Hawaiian Purple. So if you guys have seen the blooms on that one, they get their name because they're purple, dark purple and fuzzy. So I feel like the fuzzy kind of comes from the pubic calyx on this one. And then the color comes from the fungi eye, which is the blooms are very similar to Carnosa. So I just love the dark pink on here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this is one of my favorite Hoya just in general. This is a small one, so it's kind of hard to tell how cute it is. These leaves got damaged a while back and they yellowed a little bit and they never fell off so I just leave them on the plant even though they're aesthetically not pleasing they're still feeding energy to the plant so I left it but I do have the Hoya fungi that I can show you for reference so this is one of the parent plants to this one so it is this crossed with a pubic calyx so the leaves on this one have the potential to get just as big as the fungi but they do not get as round they kind of are a little bit more narrow and pointy which they get from the pubic calyx so really big fan of the fungi in general you can get this for really cheap i got this off the plant farm for like 30 bucks it's probably even cheaper than that now honestly great grower really cute pink blooms on it like i said and it gets these big splashy kind of sort of veiny leaves they're not super veiny, but they're definitely veiny. So I feel like this is just a staple if you're a Hoya person. And if you like a good hybrid, then you're definitely also gonna want this one. I do have a larger hanging basket of this one as well from the plant farm, but uh, I didn't bring it down. So there is that. And that is number four on my list. Number five and the last one on my list today of my February favorites is another Hoya and it is one that you also would have seen if you watched my Hoya tour slash purge video of my cabinet that I did earlier this month but I had to put it on the list because it's one that I love and it has been growing for me and it is the Hoya 
Endowensis. I don't know if you can read that. Endowensis. <laughs> and it's just got these really cute, glossy, ruffly leaves. If you are confused, the difference between this and the Kanya Kumariana, I've done a video about it. I can leave it linked for you. I've talked about the differences a bunch before, but honestly, this one's glossy and the other one isn't, is the best way that you're going to be able to tell, but there are differences in like their growth pattern and everything. But the point, me putting this one on the list, is that it's growing. These vines are growing and it's starting to trail and it's just really stinking cute and I like it. So I wanted to put it on my list because like I said, the theme for this month is really growth and blooms. It's February, but my plants do not care. They are ready for spring. They've been growing like mad, especially my Hoya and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I'm loving all the new growth. Everything looks so beautiful. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you did, you should definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. There's a join button down there. Super thanks button, all of that good stuff. You guys know that I can't do this without you. Thank you again to today's sponsor, BetterHelp, do not hesitate to go and click that link down below and check it out. It is betterhelp.com slash Jacqueline's Jungle and you will get 10% off your first month of therapy. So don't miss out on that. And otherwise, I love you guys so, so very much. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to drink your water, and I will see you in the next one.